Hi ladies, it's Sasa Crafter. Today I want to show you my carry box that I just made. Isn't that pretty? Sorry guys about my light still not really good. Anyway, um did carry carry box from the cardboard that I just made. So uh, later on I will show the video how I made it. I just gonna tell you the the material that I used. The paint that I used like just white acrylic paint that I painted and dry them and then I used the cheap white glue. This one I used HGB glue. So it doesn't matter what glue that you the cheapest one is better. Uh before I I paint it with the white glue that I over step now. I use this ink team holder fiber brick, the red one here. So I did this thread and then painted the white glue and then paint in a white acrylic paint again. See so I can get texture look. If you can see really well you guys can check the picture of this from my blog or my uh, Facebook. Okay. The Chinese trim here from my store, you guys can check it out. See, like this, it's pretty, I love it. I make like choppy cheek because of, um, you know, Valentine's Day coming up, so it's pretty, I love it. And then limestone here from my store, you guys can check it out. I have the egg roll and 24, the, um, the bling here is for sale. And the foam powder is from my store ladies, you can check it out, it's so pretty, I love it. Sorry my fingers, I just finished it. I love my foam powder, it's pretty, I love it. And this one, the raisin flower from my store, you guys can check it out. And this leaves from a bouquet that Purina sent me, it's kind of like this, like this one, I just cut it off. And this flower for my store, I can check it out. And this one, many tiny flower here is safe from uh, flower, the spray powder that I, I'm selling them. So you guys can check it out. I just cut it apart and put one here and there. And this one, the drop shape of this kind of like this for my store, you guys can check it out. You'd want to order it. And the mini flower, see on the side. That I used to bring around uh, here. But on this side, this I do the same thing with this one. Oh, so there. And this flower from uh, Anne again, she sent me in a bouquet, and it, I just took it apart. So just use only one. And this one, book the bouquet flower there. So I just cut it apart too. And this one is tiny flower that is from this bouquet that, not Paulina, sorry, and ever booming crop. Sorry, Anne. <laughs> not mad at me. So, uh, yeah, I just cut that small flower over there. And this flower from my store, you can check it out. And a foam flower. And this one flower from my store, you can check it out too. And this is skeleton leaf from Paulina's store. You guys can check it out. I think about it. Oh, this one is not my original idea. It I got idea from uh, Dawn 5777, I believe. She used the dye, but I didn't use the dye. I did um, hand cut everything. I want you ladies to, uh, you know, do it by yourself. You, you need the dye because dye really expensive, guy. Uh, $45 or 50 something like that. So it's pretty. So this one you can hold candy in there or you want to use, you know, creamy mist for the gift for somebody. So you can hold four bottles like that. See, isn't that pretty? Love it. Love this and how it turned out. Okay, about it guys. Don't forget to check out my store. And I love, love these stuff. Alright, guys. Uh, about measurement, I will 
put uh, on the description because I you guys might don't understand what I was I'm telling you guys okay that's it guys thank you lady for keep watching my video bye okay I'm gonna tell you how to do this box like a beer box so I use the cardboard the small cardboard there you guys can see it this one I already made one and I'm gonna show you this piece that how I make this together okay this actually um the this box is you know they, they sell um the dye but really expensive i'm trying to you know from uh let me see uh from stamping up i have dyed this dye this dyes but i want to do a tutorial that not use anything so mm, a lot of ladies don't you know most of you guys doesn't have the access to the dice and if you do it's kind of expensive and you not if you not use that often it's not worth it the money to to spend like 45 or 50 bucks just one day you know if you not use that often if you use like uh make a lot like at 200 300 for uh favor favor boxes it's okay you know do for sale but just to do some uh, special days you don't need that dice you can make it by yourself so the least this one um the cardboard i did actually the lid on the top is the same size the one i made the pearl that you guys remember see this part i haven't decorated anything yet on this one um so um i did this side of the cardboard is five five inches by ten and a half so it's kind of flap is it if I cut only just a little not enough so this one is kind of the flap the box that I unfold them so that I need is five inches by ten inches so that see that you guys can see it I mark it out guys bear with me about my light camera layers okay okay um from this one that you want to score this side at uh one and a quarter and then you want to score this one at five and six and a quarter and ten and you want to rotate it this one at the bottom here is one and a quarter and this side hang on a second oh score from this side it one and three quarter and then score at three and three quarter I hope you guys uh, understand what I'm saying. If not, you guys can. Um, I will put the um, measurement on the uh, screen for you guys to check. So I can I score over here. I did uh, use the mark, uh, the pen, the pencil to mark, so you guys can see that. So you score over here is one and a quarter, five, six and a quarter, and ten. On this side you want to rotate and let me move the side out of the way. One and three quarter score over there. And three and three quarter. And you want to follow the, follow the line that you score. Oh, you know what? We not really need to score that one because it just make the line that we need to cut. Oh. Rewind. Wrong. So we don't need to score this one. We score only... Um, On this piece is three and three quarter right. See them right? Yeah. 
yeah we mark this because we want to cut the cut it off like to get this one and to leave this piece so we can adhere like a beer box so now what you want to do you want to trim um, this so you want to trim this one this part off here And I gonna cut this. I uh, know I gonna trim this here a little bit off. So when you fold it together, so it not gonna not gonna overlap. There. And you wanna trim this one. Split it apart there. On this slide there, can you guys see it? And I'm going to do the same thing with this side that means that I trim a little bit off so not gonna might be e e easier when you fold it together anyway. Same thing both sides. Then this one too. You guys see it? But for this one, this flap, I need to trim it off. Um, I'm going to trim this all piece up here from this one. You guys see it? This one up. I'm just gonna leave this one to make the the stand like that one. I'm not sure you guys can understand what I'm talking about. So there, see that. So for the corner, if you don't have the corner punch, you just use the scissor cut or something. I think what I use is some punch. Hang on a second, lady. I'll be right back. Okay, for the corner, I use this the this corner punch. Remember, if you don't have this, you don't have to. You just use the scissor to make the corner like um like this. So you thread it and just turn it off, ladies. Not that hard, very easy. And now we can adhere the box together by um adhere this piece first here, the flap here. Um, maybe not first. Um. You want to peel any pattern that you want. See this one? I peel some off there. So because I want to get pattern look when I pan them. So kind of get the texture. Some uh, have the cardboard. Have the open cardboard that you call. I'm not really sure what you call it anyway. Um, so this one is going to be the front. So you want to peel some of that up to you. If not, it's up to you too.
and now we're gonna adhere this piece together so we, you want to line up this one first here I'm gonna use my hot glue This is really um, hard box. Um, you have to hold out the hot glue to be sure it's there. No, this one is dry, so we're gonna fold this one in. On the back here, we're gonna fold this one in there and fold this one in with the hot glue. I think I'm going the hot glue to flap inside hold this one down first and for the the, the holder the handle I use a medium size of the punch the oval punch from stamping up you know what I, I hear this one wrong it's not like this one is and that's okay. I already punched this one. I just eyeball, up. but this one, if you want to line up perfectly, you can. See there. You, if you want to, uh, make a mark so to make sure that it level up before you punch. Um. If you don't have the old punch, you can use circle punch, any punch, scholar punch that you have. It doesn't have to be this one. If you don't have any punch at all, just, you know, um, find any bottle or circle or old tip, trade it up and cut it up. But, <laughs> you know, this one already have the punch, so I have to use it. It's easier for me. So over here, if you want to peel the on the top there, peel like this one, it's up to you. I can peel a little bit. There, I want it that look. <clears throat> and now, when you're here together, you can lie on the top this one first and you're the hot glue. See, you get uh, the beer box. You can use the divide in there between, so it make like you put the see there like that. See that? So then you you can make like a little gift holder, like if you buy some the ink for the for somebody for a gift and. Wrap it. Perfect. Um, this one I'm going to paint the color that I want. I'll be I'll be right back with the ink. I'm not ready yet. 